Hi, John Moyes from Progression Fitness here. We're going to do a dumbbell workout today. We've got 20 exercises. We're going to spend 50 seconds on each exercise with a short 10 second rest. We're going to work lower body and upper body, so it's going to be a full body workout. Uh, choice of weights depends on obviously what you've got. You probably don't want too heavy because we are going to do quite a lot of repetitions, so it's going to be more of a conditioning, toning type workout. So we haven't done a warm up, so it'd be good to do a warm up before you start the exercises or follow one of my warm up videos just to get everything loose. Okay, so if we can begin with the legs, shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent. We're gonna bring the weights up to chest height, keep them in tight. What I want to do is just slowly begin to squat down. Okay, we can go as low as you feel comfortable to and then up. So we're gonna work for 50 seconds. Okay, here we go. So take it down and then press. Okay, so we're gonna go quite slowly down and then a fast push up. Things to think about as you squat, try and sit back as if there's a chair behind you. And then just keeping the knees in line with the feet so the knees aren't buckling in together. And as you come up, really press the heels into the ground. I'm just gonna keep that rhythm going for now. Okay, during the workout, we're gonna change the pace of exercises. Okay, one more. And then can we go three down. And then can we hold for four, three, two, and then one up. So we go three, two, one, hold, 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 and push. One, two, three, hold, 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 and push. Last one two, three, hold, hold, hold. And we hold it up, we bring the arms down by our side. We're gonna curl the waist to shoulder height and then press, then slowly down. So we bring them up, straight up, down, control it down. One, two, three, slowly down. Okay, again, try to make the movement down as you control the weight slower. And just think about what the rest of your body is doing. We want to keep the knees slightly bent and keep your core nice and stable. So as you push the weight above the head, we don't allow the ribs to flare up. So we're not leaning back. Okay, let's keep that going. Should feel quite comfortable at the moment as we go through the workout. Okay, your muscles are gonna get more fatigued. Okay, we're gonna have two more. And then one more time. Can we hold it for a second? Can we bring the legs together? Next movement is a forward lunge and back. Okay, so we're just stepping forward, step back. I want to try and keep the head completely still and the chest up. So if you can keep that going, I'll just do a side view. So we're stepping forward, so the back's not really moving forward. Back staying nice and tall. And just be aware of your feet position. Trying to keep the knees and the feet nice and straight. And then once we get in the hang of the movement, we can get lower by dropping the back knee towards the floor more. Or we can make the step bigger. Okay, let's keep going. As you push back, push through your front heel. So it kind of springs you back. Big step, spring back. Nice big movement. Okay, let's keep that going. Go three, two, and one more time. Let me hold it wide. We bring the arms out away from the body. I'm just going to do some chest kind of standing flies, bringing the weights up and down. So we're trying to keep those weights as far away from us as we can. Just like you're wrapping your arms around a tree. And just squeeze your chest, maybe squeeze the weights and down. Okay, we've got two moves, we've got coming up, and as we come up, we come across, and we keep the weights nice and wide. We wanna keep the chest up nice and tall. Squeeze, and down. One, and back. Okay, let's keep working. I'm just feeling that now. Probably feel it more in the shoulders and the chest, but you can really focus on pulling up from the chest across the body, up and across. Okay, we'll go two more. Here's one, 
hug the tree, last one, and back down by our side. So now we're gonna do a side squat, so we can hold the weights here, it's probably best, we take it out, we squat, push back. Just out, squat, push back. And then once you've got the movement, you can just kind of let it all flow into one. So we're gonna spring back, stretch, spring back. So this will get the heart rate up a little bit as well. And again, we can make that movement bigger. We can start to get lower. Just be aware of your knees though. Don't let the knees fall in. Keep the knees out. Stay tall. Spring back. One, two. Okay, let's keep that up. Down. Keeping those knees out all the time. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Four more. Last two. Last one. And relax. Okay, I'm going to show you from the side here. What I want to do is take a hinge forward and we're going to pull your elbows up and back. Okay? Really important to keep the back in neutral, so we've got that curve in the lower back. We keep the chest up, and rather than thinking of lifting the weights, think about pulling your elbows behind you. Okay, so we pull the elbows back. We don't want the shoulders creeping up. We're gonna keep the shoulders down. Pull back wide, and get as low as you feel comfortable to, keeping the knees bent. Okay, so now we should be feeling this in your back, particularly upper back, across the shoulder blades. Okay, let's keep that going. Pull back, elbows pull back. Really squeeze the shoulder blades at the top and down. Okay, one more. And then we come back up from there. Good, so we've got one leg in front of the other. We're gonna do 30 seconds on each leg and we're just dropping down into a single leg lunge. So the power comes through that front foot, drop and then push up, down and press, down and push. It should be nicely warmed up now. Down, press. Gives the shoulders a rest in this position as well. Okay, let's keep it going, five seconds. One more time, and then we change legs. Okay, both feet nice and straight. Focus on bending the back knee, dropping down, pressing up. Two. Okay, let's keep that up. Down, and push. Okay, so all these exercises add up. As we get through the routine, it's gonna to start to feel a bit tougher. Okay, nearly there. One more. Down and good. Well done. All right, it's gonna be a high pull now. So you bring the weights up to shoulder height, then pull them back. Come up, pull back. Two. Okay. So here, we don't want the shoulders lifting. Keeping the chest lifted, but not arching the back. Okay, so we've got good posture. Pull back. So you kind of hover and then pull back. Hover, pull back. Bring the elbows back. Strong. Keep it up. Stay strong, let's keep it going. 10 seconds, one. Not sure about my timing sometimes. Okay, that was five. Two, well done, okay. So now we build on our last set of lunges. This time we lunge down, and then from there we bring the knee up. We come back, and then pull through. Okay. So you power that leg up. I bring that knee up nice and high. Down and push. Okay, obviously go as low as you feel comfortable to go. 
think about your posture all the time, keeping the head still. I know I keep saying it, but it's really important. <laughs> okay, last one, and relax. Changing legs. So we drop and then pull. Two, back, down, lift. Good core work, this as well. Lots going on. Drop it in, push through. Okay, let's keep it going. And up. Rest in the shoulders while we do this. Five seconds. Last one. Okay, and relax. Good, right from there we go into a axe man. So we're gonna hold the weights here. We're gonna take them behind the head and then pull back. So there, and back over. So keeping the weights as close to your head as you can. Back in. One, two. Okay, again, watch that core. Try not to arch the back as the arms come back. Over and in. Again, I stretch at the top and then back in. One, keep it going. Okay, let's keep it up. 10 seconds. Last five. And two. And last one. Okay, good. Whew. So we need some swings now. So when we swings, we hinge. So the movement is a hinge. We've got a slight knee bend, and then we push. Come down, press. So we're not dropping the weights too low. So in the upper thigh region, and then the power is through your glutes, so kind of thrust up, down, press, down, push. Try and get your breathing in sync. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, let's keep that going. So we'll get the heart rate up as well. Get some circulation around the shoulders. So we're not gripping the weights too tight. We've got quite a loose grip and the power is in the hips. Okay, let's keep that going. In, power up. Okay, let's go for another 10 seconds. Five, three, two, and the last one. Okay, good. All right, we do a W raise. So with the W raise, the elbows stay up. So that's the W. We go in and up and then up into a press. But the elbows don't come all the way down. We go one, two, three, and in. Up, press, back, control. So we're keeping those elbows nice and wide. So we're keeping tension on the shoulder all the time. Pushing up, down, turn. One, two, three, and back. Up. Okay, so it's gonna make the shoulders burn. We come up, two, three. Okay, let's keep it up. We have got 10 seconds. Feeling the burn in the shoulders. Two, three, last one. Okay, good. All right, we're gonna finish off from there with a bridge or hinge again. This time we could do a close row. So the elbow's coming into the side. Three, four, good. So we've got chest up. Elbows come back behind the body. Okay, we're gonna add a hold. Can we go back and hold for two? And then down, back, squeeze. On that hold, I really want you to pull the shoulders back and down. You're gonna squeeze in your upper back. Feeling those muscles work back there. Three and down. One, two, 
three. Last 10 seconds. Pull back, hold, hold, and down. One, two, three, two more. In, squeeze, last one. Okay, good stuff. All right, now we need some floor work. So we might want a mat here, and we're just gonna lay them out on the floor and lie on our backs. Start the floor work, so when knees bent, comfortable position, nice and straight. We'll bring the weights up just above the shoulders. We've got a slightly bent elbow. We're going to just slowly begin to open the weight out to the side, so the elbows touch the floor, and then pull back up. So we're going to go out for three, two, one, and then squeeze. One, two, three, and pull up. Three out, open up the chest. Breathe in, expand the chest, and then squeeze it up. One, two, touch the ground, squeeze it up. One, two, three, and pull. Keep that going, slowly. Two, three, open up. One, two, touch the ground, squeeze it up. Good, breathe in. Exhale and push. One, two, Three, really squeeze the chest. Focus on the muscles you're working. Out, open the chest, let it stretch, and then squeeze it. One, two, stretch the chest, and squeeze. Four more reps. Squeeze it up. One, two, three. Okay, last one. I'm gonna hold them at the top. Okay, now we're gonna go back into a pullover. Elbows just above the ears, and then back up. So again, three back, two, stretch, and then pull. One, two, three, squeeze it back. Keep it going, stretch. Okay, keep control of the ribs. Try not just at the back, the ribs flare up. Control it. A little bit of lift's all right. Get a nice stretch, pull him back. One, two, three, and end up. Okay, let's keep that going. Slowly, control the weight, pull back through. One, two, stretch, and up. One, two, three, okay, four more reps. Back and up. One, two, Breathe in, and then can we hold it? Can we bring the weights onto your hip bones? Okay, feet are nice and straight, knees in line with the feet, and I just want you to push through your heels, pushing the hips up and down. Up, slowly down. One, two, one. I want the glutes doing the work here, you should feel them working. Tense the glutes every time. Pushing up. Press and down. Okay, let's keep that work. Pushing up and back. Good. 15 seconds. Power up, slowly down. Push. Push. Okay, be aware of the feet, the knees, all the time, straight. Press the heels into the ground. Last couple. Last one. Okay, and could bring the weights up. Do a tricep extension. Can we drop the weight behind the head and then just push him back up through the back of the arms? You take it back, press, down, push. Can make this more difficult by taking the elbows back further. Trying to get as much range in as we can. And then the floor can get in the way. We're just trying to keep the elbows high. Imagine you're holding a football between your elbows so they're not pulling apart. Everything nice and tight. Stretch, squeeze. 
Nice, keep that going. Press it up. Good. Four more. One, two, three. Make we hold the weights up, gripping the feet up. Okay, can we breathe in? As we breathe out, we curl up, touch the ankles, and then bend the knees. That's two. If you can get your tailbone to lift off the ground as well. So we're just gonna get the lower tummy working a little bit more. Coming up, stretch, down. One, two. Okay, let's keep that going. Breathe in, exhale, down, inhale, up. Exhale up, sorry, inhale down. Breathe out, breathe in. Four more, let's go. One, two, three, last one. And relax, okay, gripping the weights in carefully and carefully take them down to the floor. Okay, thank you very much for that. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was a good workout. If it was too easy, it's probably because the weights were too light, but that can be adjusted. But uh, thanks for watching, thank you.